Before we sit down, can we get an incredible round of applause for our graduates? Good evening. Welcome to the RIT Gordon Field House and the Penfield High School Class of 2023 graduation ceremony. Before we begin tonight's program, I'd like to take a moment to thank several individuals who were integral in planning this important event. Thank you to PHS Principal Mrs. Watt and our 12th grade administrator Mrs. Savine, as well as Mrs. Eisler and the many others who put forth tremendous amounts of effort and time to plan this graduation ceremony. Uh, our sincere thanks and appreciation to each of you. In a moment, we will begin the commencement with the Pledge of Allegiance led by three of our inspiring seniors. Samuel Lublin, who will be entering the United States Marines. Caleb Green, who will be entering the United States Army. And Rayleigh Rosado, who will be entering the United States Air Force. The Pledge of Allegiance will be followed by our national anthem sung by the Penfield High School Chorale Seniors. Uh, our graduates, it is appropriate, just so you know, because I look every year and Google this, you actually leave your graduation cap on during the pledge and the national anthem. You are able to do that, but if you were in the audience wearing a ball cap, we're watching, so make sure it comes off. I now ask that everyone stand, if able, for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing, if able, for the national anthem. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Students like Caleb, Samuel, and Rayleigh, and the senior corral members exemplify the Penfield High School motto of pride, honor, and success equals PHS. Let's give these students another round of applause for making Penfield very proud. Now you can sit down. 
I would like to take a moment to acknowledge and thank the Penfield Board of Education. As elected officials, they volunteer countless hours to support and enhance our school district. And when I read your name, I ask you to stand and tell the entire board is standing. President of the Penfield Central School Board, Mrs. Lisa Bonatti Chidzi. Vice President, Dr. Emily Roberts. Fellow board members, Mrs. Catherine Dean. Mrs. Nicole Doily. Mr. Mark Elledge. Mrs. Christine Harley. And Mrs. Krista Can. We appreciate your dedication to the Penfield School community and thank you so much for all that you do. I'd also like to take a moment to welcome members of the Penfield Central District Office who are here this evening. And so same if you could stand, Dr. Dan Driffle, Assistant Superintendent for Business and Finance. Dr. Tasha Potter, Assistant Superintendent for Equity and Access. Dr. Steve Kenny, Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources. And Dr. Leslie Maloney, Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction. The student-focused, team-driven leadership of the Penfield Central School District has been an essential part of maintaining rigorous standards of excellence and supporting the needs of all students and developing the whole student from pre-K now through graduation. And graduates, I'd like to express my heartfelt congratulations to each of you. Your dedication, hard work, resilience have brought you to this day, a day that marks the culmination of your high school journey and the beginning of an exciting new chapter in your lives. And throughout your time in our halls, and maybe virtual for a while, you have not only grown academically, but also as individuals. You've expanded your knowledge, discovered your passions, and developed critical skills that will serve as a foundation for your future endeavors. But let us not forget, your journey was not a solitary one. Behind each of you stands a village of support, faculty, staff, administrators who pushed you to reach your full potential, family members who provided unwavering encouragement, friends and peers who laughed and cried and celebrated with you, and a community that rallied behind your success. So today we recognize and express our deepest gratitude to all those who have played a vital role in shaping your paths. Graduates, could you give a round of applause to everybody here that's here to support you and your families? Remember to thank them tonight, ask for money tomorrow. As you step out into the world ready to embrace new challenges, let me remind you of a few invaluable lessons that extend way, behind, uh, way beyond the classroom. Firstly, uh, embrace curiosity. Never stop asking questions, exploring new horizons, and seeking knowledge. Be open-minded and continuously expand your understanding of the world around you. Remember that learning is not confined to the walls of a school. It is a lifelong pursuit. Second, let perseverance be your guiding light. Life will be present. They'll have obstacles and setbacks, but it's through determination and resilience that we grow stronger. Believe in your abilities, trust in your capacity to overcome, and persist even when the path seems uncertain. The world needs individuals who refuse to give up. And thirdly, embrace diversity and cultivate empathy. We live in a beautifully diverse world. It's our duty to foster an inclusive society where everyone feels seen, heard, and valued. Embrace different perspectives, celebrate the richness of our differences, and strive to create an environment of respect and understanding. And finally, please remember to dream big. Your high school graduation is not the end, but merely the beginning of a journey filled with infinite possibilities. Take risks, pursue your passions, and have the audacity to chase after your wildest aspirations. Be bold, be fearless, and let your dreams guide you towards a future that surpasses even your own expectations. So as you venture forth into the world, armed with knowledge instilled in you throughout your high school years 
ambition and the values, I have no doubt that you will leave an incredible mark on society, embrace the challenges, savor the triumphs, and continue to strive for greatness. Congratulations, class of 2023. Go forth and make a difference in the world. Thank you. And it's now my distinct honor to introduce the principal of Penfield High School, Mrs. Leanna Watt. Thank you, Dr. Putnam. Good evening, PHS. As we gather here this evening to celebrate this special group of students, we could not be more grateful for the opportunity to be here together in person. On behalf of the staff, students, and families, I wanna start by expressing gratitude to our Board of Education and our district administration. While your support doesn't always get the recognition deserved, please know your efforts and advocacy have a direct impact on our students. I'd also like to give a special thanks to Mrs. Savine, your senior class administrator, your counselors, Mrs. Neasel, Mrs. Cannon, Mrs. Driscoll, and Mr. Miller. Please give them a round of applause. I'd also like to thank your senior class advisors, Mrs. Skiba and Mr. Zimmerman. As many, yeah, please, yes. <laughs> As many of you have experienced firsthand, their commitment to helping students build special memories and arrive at this milestone has been a labor of love and it has not gone unnoticed. Students, some of you sprinted to this finish line with ease, while others needed someone behind you refusing to let you stop or give up. In truth, this has been the collective effort of all of the staff members by your side since kindergarten, as well as your parents and caregivers. Thank you to every adult who's gone above and beyond to show up for the class of 2023 from start to finish. When you think back on all of those years, it seems impossible to sum up each of the unique experiences you've had and how they've helped to shape the person you are today. By the time you arrived at PHS, you didn't know it, but you would soon weather unprecedented events due to a global pandemic. Senior year was the first and only year of your high school career that wasn't marred with some element of a COVID adjustment or adaptation that you had no choice but to accept. The start of high school, one of the most uncertain transitions you'll ever face, was a muted experience at best, despite grand efforts to make up for its shortcomings. Then, just as order felt as though it was being restored, you faced devastating heartbreak. With the passing of your classmates, Matthew Bittner and Nathan Wydell, we knew that little would ever be the same again. You mourned the loss of Matthew's humor, his musical talent, and his kind heart. You consoled one another when Nathan's infectious smile, his love for the outdoors, and his generosity were no longer with us. We took a collective pause to honor all that they were to so many people, and I'd ask that we do the same again tonight and pause. When we slowly emerged, our community grief-stricken, we wondered how the class of 2023 would recover. How would you ever get to the other side of so much struggle and tragedy? In time, we would learn that it was with a whole lot of fight, the common thread among all of you. Even on the most challenging days, you showed up for each other. It wasn't perfect, and I am certain there are plenty of moments you can think of right now when you felt alone, or like your circumstances weren't fair, or as if you couldn't make sense of so much loss. But you looked out for one another, afforded each other grace, kindness, forgiveness, love, understanding. You fought hard, and sometimes you fought with one another. But in the end, you saw your way out of seemingly impossible times to find the good. Class of 2023, I highlight this for you because there are times ahead of you, whether in your continued education, your career, relationships, or by experiencing what feels like chaos in the world around us, Moments you can't yet anticipate that will tempt you to lose faith, to retreat, 
to give up on people, to doubt the choices you or others have made. It will be easy to grow frustrated, and quickly you might feel that so much is out of your control. But if there's nothing else we've learned in recent years, it's to focus on what you, we can control. And one simple truth is that you can choose to keep fighting and to persevere, to lean in and to find the good. Your guest speakers this evening will remind you of all the reasons your class is so special and why those sitting near you today in the audience and the people next to you in the seats will, be, will ground you even years from now. Your shared experiences will connect you in a way that will always leave a space, a reason, and a way to come back home. I'm sure for some of you, the idea of leaving Penfield might be exactly what you've been waiting for. And for others, it might be terrifying. Either way, as you move on, you'll gain the perspective that Penfield will always be your home. This realization may not be immediate, but remember that wherever you go and whatever you do, you will always have this family with who, whom you've shared lived experiences that have changed you. Those who first express grace, understanding, and unconditional love will always be here quietly fighting for you. We will always love you, class of 2023. With that, I'd like to introduce your first student speaker of the evening, Mr. Nathaniel Gage. Thank you, Mrs. Lott. I want to start off by thanking every family member in the audience. Between the mix of the pandemic and the heaping dose of teenage angst you got us through, give yourself a pat on the back. We made it to the finish line. Through the ups and downs, you were there, so thank you. Secondly, I'd like to thank the staff. Throughout our four years here, we've seen four different versions of classes. From the fully asynchronous classes to the cohorts, and that one week in December where we all learned about the hide camera button, you all adapted and gave us students the sense of stability we needed at the time. Whether it was teaching us 7.30 a.m. band classes at home or trying to make our 14% on an AP chemistry test seem okay, you all kept your cool. I'd also like to congratulate every one of you sitting in front of me. We finally made it. After years of academic uncertainty and even uncertainty about where graduation would be held, we're here. Throughout our time at PHS, we made contributions to the school and community that will be everlasting. We put on The Little Mermaid, we traveled to Houston for robotics, again, we wrote research papers and poems, painted masterpieces, solved mur murder cases, set new athletic records. We made an impact. Remember the things you are capable of and just how much change one person can make. As a class, we've gone through some difficult times. We've lost time in and out of the classroom. However, more importantly, we lost loved ones. No matter who you are, you felt the effects of loss in our community directly or indirectly. In these times of loss, we truly saw the community come together and everyone found someone to lean on. Also, remember your battles aren't just yours. The people in your life are there to help you. When I found myself grappling with the tougher questions in high school, I realized I could split the burden with those around me. The more advice I got, the more palatable the problems became. So I implore you, take it with you in those future challenges. Remember just how resilient you can be and don't forget just how tough you are when you use the strength of others around. This quality is what I took away most from my time at PHS, resilience. Growing up, we are taught to never give up, that there is always a solution to the problem we are facing. However, the older we got, the more we began to realize that things are out of our control and that life is made up of reactions. You can prepare as much as you want for that math test, but you won't know the solution until you see the problem. What I'm trying to say is, preparation only gets you so far. When you are down, you're down. And sometimes you need to send that feeling. When you get that feeling, though, remember resilience. Remember that whatever this is, you've got to fight. If you feel lost in it, take a step back. The solution could be right in front of you. If you still find yourself lost, reach out. A problem shared is a problem halved. Fight for your future and the people who got you there. Maya Angelou said, I can be changed by what happens to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. As humans, we are ever changing. Every situation and problem changes how we think. So when you don't get the result you want, don't feel bad about it. Be happy that's an opportunity to grow. Finally, I'd like to leave you with one final thought. It took a lot of strength and bravery to be where you're sitting right now. So, for a moment, be proud of what you did. And remember that strength and bravery for the future. Congratulations, class of 2023.
I would now like to introduce our next student speaker, Beatrice Reichman. Thank you, Nate. Graduates, I want you all to think back to fourth grade. Remember the smell of colorful erasers, the sound of the morning announcements, the feeling of falling on the wood chips on the playground, and the excitement of learning about something totally new. When we were in fourth grade, we all studied the Aztec, the Inca, and the Maya. I loved writing stories at the time, so I came home from school adamant on writing a story about a girl living in the time of the Aztecs. As I began to write, I ran to my father with endless questions to ensure that the story was accurate. Did the Aztecs use wells to get their water, or did they get it from the river? What time of day would the Aztecs harvest their corn? As fourth graders, we were all used to bombarding our parents and teachers with these inquiries. So, after the 500th question, my father gave me some advice. Write what you know. Instead of writing about a girl living in the time of the Aztecs, write a story about a girl living in Penfield in 2015. Looking back on this story some eight years later, I disagree with this advice. <laughs> yes, any writing teacher will tell you to write what you know. But the whole point of high school is to do just the opposite. We don't know as much about Shakespeare's sonnets as a PhD in English, but we write about them anyway. We aren't on Broadway, but we still put on musicals. We aren't professional chemists, but we perform titrations nonetheless. Because by doing things we don't know, by asking questions about things that we don't yet understand, we're learning about something bigger than ourselves. We're learning to be comfortable not knowing all the answers. We're learning to grow, to sometimes be wrong when interpreting Maya Angelou's poetry or Margaret Atwood's novels, to sometimes forget that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, Oh, who am I kidding? We all remember that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. As we begin the next chapter of our lives, I urge us all to remember this sentiment, this idea that we can still do something, try something, write something, and learn something without being an expert. Dad, I'm sorry for throwing your advice under the bus. I know you just wanted me to stop asking about which direction Aztec girls rolled their corn husks. I appreciate your patience, and I want to thank you, my family, and all the families of graduates today who have helped us reach this point. I would also like to give a huge thank you to Mrs. Savine, Mrs. Watt, Dr. Putnam, and all the members of the district administration who have made our graduation today possible. I would like to give a sincere thank you to all the PHS teachers and counselors whose devotion to our class during these past years has been remarkable. For the record, I still ended up writing that story about the Aztec girl. I definitely got a bunch of details wrong, but I also learned a lot along the way. There will be graduates here who may go on to write books, cure diseases, and build life-changing inventions. So jump right in. Listen to the experts, of course. But never forget that the experts once asked those questions, too. I am so grateful to have been a part of this intellectual, creative, and passionate class. Penfield High School Class of 2023, I hope you go into your bright futures remembering this. Write what you don't know. Thank you. Now, I would like to introduce the Penfield High School Chorale performing Thank You for the Music, directed by Mr. Henry Dean and accompanied by Dr. Kevin Lieb.
listens when I start to sing. I'm so grateful and proud. All I want to do is sing it out loud. So I sing. Thank you, Carell. That was beautiful. Board of Education, administrators, faculty, family, friends, and especially to the graduates of the class of 2023. I will keep this simple and as short as possible because today is about all of you. We are here to celebrate you, your accomplishments, your successes, and your moment happening right now. What you have accomplished over the last four years through some never-before-experienced times in history and in education is no small feat. You have pushed forward to be here today, and we are all incredibly proud to have been along for this portion of your life journey. As you embark upon the next step, it seems fitting that I share some words of encouragement and wisdom. I'm, I'm not certain any of you will remember these words years from now, but it's my hope that maybe a few of you will hear them now and know that I believe every single word. I should begin, however, by admitting fully that these are not my words. Instead, as many of us do these days, I've earned this wisdom from the most trusted source out there, um, TikTok. Yet, as soon as I heard these words scrolling through, I knew I had to share them with all of you, and perhaps you've heard them before. 
There are four things you need to know before you go out into the world. Remember these things, and you will be the best person you can be. First, look at this pencil. We know that for it to be a useful pencil from time to time and again and again, it's going to have to go through a resharpening. Well, if this pencil could feel, we could imagine how painful that would be. But that's what it takes for it to be a useful pencil. Life is much the same. Painful experiences and challenges come to us all, but it is through these opportunities, these resharpenings, that we build character and we grow. Second, keep in mind that you will be able to correct many of the mistakes that you make along the way, just like this eraser. So if we learn from our mistakes, they're not really mistakes at all, but they're lessons that we can use to do better the next time around. And third, just like the pencil, every place where you have been, you will leave your mark. You are writing your own story. Think of stumbling blocks as stepping stones and never stop writing. And fourth, remember the most important part of you is what is on the inside. Class of 2023, we started at PHS together four years ago. During your time with us at PHS, you have brought our school pride and honor. You are a class with big hearts who has endured loss together, cried together, cheered together, and celebrated together. This will never be lost to those of us who have had the esteemed privilege to work with you. And just like this pencil, you have left your mark in our hallways, in our classrooms, on our athletic fields, on our stage, and in our hearts. We have experienced more than one resharpening together that has changed us all. It has been my honor to walk alongside you and to wish you now well on the next step of your journey where I know you will continue to write your own story. And just as Beatrice told us earlier tonight, write what you don't know yet. But I would like to add that again, never stop writing and know how much I wish you well as you begin to author your next chapter. Congratulations to the class of 2023 and best wishes for a successful future. So it's just about that time, everybody. I would now like to present the class of 2023 for the awarding of diplomas. That's right. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents and the State Education Department, I hereby certify that the members of the class of 2023 who are present here have met all of the provisions and requirements for graduation and I recommend that they be granted their diplomas. And now I'd like to welcome Mrs. Lisa Benati Chizzi, school board president. It's so fun. Exciting. I didn't know I got to read something. Congratulations. Ooh. After successfully completing all the mandates set forth by the Board of Regents and the State Education Department, it is my pleasure for the Board of Education to receive the 2023 graduating class of Penfield High School. Woo woo! Yeah. At this time, I'd welcome our board and superintendent to the front to start awarding diplomas. The diplomas will be presented by Dr. Emily Roberts, Vice President of the Penfield Board of Education, Ken Kenzie A. Abdeldayam, <laughs> Parker Aiken, <laughs> Ar 
Irene M. Alello. Grace Alexander. Lucy Allen. Sailor E. Andrews. Vita O. Androshuk. Corinne Arnold. Emma A. Atzel. Ethan Ajello. Eric Austin. Gabriella J. Baker. Natalie Bannister. Emmett Burris. Samantha Ryan Battaglia. Lillian V. Beckwith. Jackson G. Bagani. Eric Begeshev. Nayana S. Belser. <laughs> Abigail L. Bellas. Jenna E. Bell. Nicole E. Bell. Christina H. Belair. Lauren E. Benson. Thalia Benton Dineen. Brandon Berger. McKenna L. Bertram. Evelyn Bishop. Uday B. Bista. Zachary A. Blakeman. Ian C. Black. Benjamin Blair. Madeline Blyden. Eleonora J. Bodie. Megan Bauman. Samuel Bracci. Caroline Bradley. Ryan M. Brewer. Ariana B. Broadwin Seeples. Katarina E. Broadwin Seeples. Dillinger Brousseau. Emma Buckley.
Deja Tiani Butler. The diplomas will now be presented by Penfield Central School District Board Member, Mrs. Nicole Doily. Ethan A. Calkins. Victoria Campana. Raquela Casarino. John Chalupa. Leslie Chang. Matthew E. Clare. Caitlin Clark. Tessa Cohen. Moses L. Colbert. Giovanni R. Collins. Samuel Collins. Andrew J. Collison. Aiden Cook. Morgan G. Kuhn. Brandon C. Cordy. Colin W. Cordy. Joseph F. Coyle. Daniel Kramer. Tyler Crowns. Colin Crowley. Tiana A. Cruz. Marley Cummings. Gabriella C. Curtis. John H. Curtis Braley. Caroline Cutter. Jaden Danko. Nathan Dan. Rashav R. Data. Ryan R. Davis. Benjamin Demler. Nicholas V. DeYoung. Yashira A. Diaz. Luca DiLiberto. Austin M. Dillenbeck. Sophia R. DePrima. Milena DeStacio. Mia DeStacio. Austin 
Oliver M. Doty. Kane and Dumitrescu. Emily Admire. Miriam I. Elias. Eowyn Grace E. Ellison. The diplomas will now be presented by Penfold Central School District Board Member, Mrs. Catherine Dean. Brooke A. Elwell. Jonathan W. E. Macy. Grace Erdl. Walter Essie. Joseph B. Fantagrossi. Austin Fell. Luis A. Fernandez. Jack T. Fickner. Aaron Fichi. Asher Infinity. Jackson Fixon. Rashad Forcer. Emily Fordham. Roger F. Fox II. Caden J. Frank. Caitlin M. Frederick. William N. Freezy. Jacqueline A. Funk. Julia Gable. Zoe J. Gagne. Emma Gannon. Julieta A. Garcia. Rafael O. Garcia III. Kean J. Gavin. Jacob A. Gerber. Alejandra M. Gilbert. Nicholas G. Giuseppetti. Emily Glaza. Brenya J. Getz. Graylin Golding. Lillian Gonzalez Almeida. Marina Goosen. Amy Gostovic. Aiden W. Gray. Andrew J. Green. Caleb Green.
Charlie R. Gregaitis. Alec Z. Griswold. Connor Grossman. Mason W. Grover. Celine N. Gundogdu. Anna E. Gutman. Karina S. Guzman. The diplomas will now be presented by Penfield Central School District Board member, Mrs. Krista Kahn. Maximilian D. Haas. Emily Hawk. Chloe M. Hall. Morgan C. Grace C. Hall. Morgan C. Hall. Ethan J. Hamilton. Siobhan M. Hanna. Brendan E. Harrington. Caden Harrington. Dahlia J. Harris. William C. Harrison. Alex Hartel. Sarah Herco. Calvin Ho. Hannah Hockadell. Yeah. Nihilis E. Huertas. Yeah. Hayden Humphrey. Yeah. Brady M. Herto. Ivory Inter Nicola Eli O. Jeffrey Talia Jensik Caitlin K. Jewett Zoe T. Jimenez. Dylan G. Jones. Kira K. Jones. Matthew S. Jones. Frank M. Juris. Emma Kane. Vikas F. Karch. Samuel Kyleman. Mitchell Kelly. Jolie S. Kelman.
Caitlin M. Kemet. Colin Kennedy. Ryan Kennedy. Nora Can. Gavin J. King. Ainsley C. Knight. Alyssa J. Coker. Jacob S. Colas. Colin Kozan. Haley E. Kramer. Danielle Kress. Chloe Cropman. The diplomas will now be presented by Penfield School District President Mrs. Lisa Benati Chidsey. <laughs> Megan R. Kuznia. Coy Lamberton. Lauren Lampy. Ian D. Layton. Jalen Shanice Lawhorn. Haley and Layton. Jordan J. Leakey. McKenna LeBlanc. Nathan Lehigh. Mary Rose Lennox. Jack C. Lewis. Sophie H. Lee. Lillian C. Laguoi. Peter P. Lilly III. Madison E. Lawn. Nicholas Lumen. Nicole F. Love. Samuel Lublin. Madison K. Lukens. Kiernan P. McGee. Sydney Major. Kelly Maximu. Chad M. Mandwi. Paige E. Moino. Andrew J. Martin. Ryan 
Moen G. Moen. Caleb S. Mason. Jameson D. McCooey. Miles L. McCourtney. Patrick C. McLaughlin. McKenna M. McNaughton. Daniel Metz. Nicholas R. Mika. Javier J. Melton. Ryan B. Metzger. Ethan P. Myers. Alex Michitek. Miller Midas. Moore G. Miles. Connor M. Matrano. Maya Molina. Taylor J. Monfort. Brett T. Montevecchio. Cristiano B. Munawat. The diplomas will now be presented by Penfield Central School District Board Member, Mr. Mark Elledge. Elizabeth L. Muller. Molly Q. Murdy. Anastasia Myrie. Katerina S. Natochi. Emma Natale. Landon J. Newman. Kane T. Wynn. Michelle F. Wynn. Rowan A. Nichols. Bryce Nixon. Haley R. Niedermeyer. Stephanie A. Novak. Katie A. Nucci. Amelia Numanovich. Kaden O'Hora. Cadence G. Osteller. Mackenzie F. Page. Michaela J. Page. Ava M. Palmer. Aaron E. Pengburn. Nia S. Paradise. 
Adam M. Parash. Ryan Parton. Benjamin L. Sorry, Benjamin J. Pearson. Kamaya L. Pearson. Aiden C. Pello. Crystal L. Perkins. Scott C. Petrie. Victoria Petrosino. Rose E. Pfeiffer. Gabriel Plata. Lillian A. Plimpton. Max J. Podonofsky. Berkeley J. Pollock. Joseph R. Paulvino. Autumn L. Paremba. Ella D. Powers. Callie M. Pratt. Bryson F. Pye. Sierra Quarterman. William A. Rathka. Kayla M. Regasis. Ava M. Ramsey. Nathan Rafici. The diplomas will now be presented by Penfield Central School District Board member, Mrs. Christine Harley. Kara Jean Reuter. Willa C. Reynolds. Michael A. Rickey. Landon R. Richmond. Michael F. Ritz. Trinity L. Rivera. Manuel A. Rodriguez. Rayleigh E. Rosado. Isabel C. Roth. Ellie R. Rouse. Ian P. Ruffelson. Grace Rund. Dashiell A. Russ. Nicholas Russell. Michaela A. Sable. Nico Sangren. Emily's K. Santiago.
Paige Lori Santini. Lillian M. Sawpaw. Benjamin W. Savage. Emma E. Scanlon. Andrew J. Scheibel. Alec Q. Schickler. Jennifer A. Shojin. Katherine Schultz. Rachel E. Schultz. Robert A. Schultz. John, John C. Seabridge. Abigail Seaman. Timothy W. Sergio. Caitlin E. Shape. Kayla Simpson. Allison K. Snyder. Brooke Soike. Adeline L. Spalina Jones. Colin J. Stamfer. Aaron Stapleton. Erica J. Stevens. Natalie K. Steinhauer. Megan Stout. Taha Sulman. Samuel Swanger. The diplomas will now be presented by Penfield Central School District Board President, Mrs. Lisa Benadi Chidsi. Parker, oh, Parker J. Schwebka. Ryan J. Taddeo. Madison A. Tamburini. Thomas G. Tanus. Isabella R. Teal. Jameson J. Tedesco. Cristiano G. Tagus. Delaney Grace Tellix. Boone Thomas. Christopher Thompson. Emily O. Thompson. Jeannie M. Tolis. Oh. 
Lindsay A. Topol. Aiden R. Torres. Derek J. Torres. Jacob L. Chocola. Benjamin T. Turner. Anna R. Turi. Amelia G. Tayo. Elijah S. Van Hoover. Grace Van Houten. Emily Fessa. Nicholas Vessa. Nicholas Vigliotti. Maxwell S. Fordonis. Jackson P. Wade. Corey Wagner. Sarah Wallen. Jack E. Walsh. Tyler Warner. Hadley W. Warren. Samuel W. Weaver. Robert Gage Wheaton. Cassidy White. Thomas A. White. Kendall A. Whitney. Riley Wilkins. Adia Wolford Tuffy. John Woods. Anna K. Yato. Alexander J. Young. Allison E. Young. Zoe E. Zaney. Marissa L. Zwick. Chloe Chang. Isaiah O. Clement. Nathaniel Gage. Lila Harvey. Annalise and Leinenbach. Takira 
Z Mac. Sitha M. Nathan. Danielle Novak. Lindsay Paley. Marietta S. Saros. Beatrice Reichman. <laughs> Leah Whalen. graduates tonight. At this time, I would like to invite the graduates of the class of 2023 to please stand. We have the graduates waiting for their photo. Join us back here, and then we'll make sure you get your photo at the end. Graduates, at this time, to signify your graduation, I would like to ask each of you to now move your graduation tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side. All the energy, so much energy. Before we conclude tonight, I would like to thank Mrs. Shana Stewart and Mr. Henry Dean and the talented student musicians for their performances tonight. On behalf of Penfield High School and the Penfield Central School District, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us on this special occasion, whether you were here in person or at home watching via live stream. And our recessional will begin in just one moment. One more big round of applause for our graduating class tonight.
students. Once our dignitaries on stage exit the stage and head towards the back, you can follow right behind family members if you could, exit the field house the same way that you entered and you can meet your graduates right outside. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Best of luck to all of our graduates and your future endeavors. Have a great, safe night.